Welcome to Showcase of Homes on Lifestyles. I'm your host, Janine Buckner, and today we're here with two very special guests, Vivian Lyons and Debbie McGuire of Keller Williams Great Falls. Debbie and Vivian, it's great to see you. Good Hi. to see you again. And Happy New Year to you. And you. <laughs> you all are such a wealth of information in real estate, and I know often we talk about getting homes ready to sell. Um, in this market, it seems like homes are selling more quickly mm -hmm. now, but let's talk a little bit about what happens after you get a contract on a home and what to expect. Because a lot of times people don't buy homes or sell homes you know, every year, as much as you all are doing <laughs> it. So um, things can change a lot, but what, say for example, the first, um, after a contract, you've got contingencies. I think the one that most people think about is the home inspection. Right. So what is a home inspection? What is, what is this, what should the seller do to prepare and what should a buyer look for? Just give us an overview on that, if you don't mind. Okay. Well, the home inspection is really a second negotiation. The buyer is going to be expect is going to expect to have the home to themselves with their inspector for about three to four hours, depending on the size of the home. And so that's the first thing the seller needs to understand is that it is the buyer's opportunity to go through the house in detail, learn everything they possibly can learn about the house, and the seller should plan on spending that time out of the home. Okay. Good point. And so yeah. the seller, like you said, it needs to understand this is the buyer's time to get to know the home. Right. And um, I think a lot of sellers might think, oh, they're just looking for things that are wrong with the home. But they're they're really the purpose is to understand how the home works. And, That's right. And they right. spend time on, you know, they might spend time even talking about where they're going to put their furniture right. and things like that. So right. sometimes five hours, the seller thinks, oh my God, what are they doing to my right. house in five hours? But right. it's really them just experiencing the house more than it is just inspecting every inch of it. Sure. But the, the home inspection contingency comes in with the contract usually, and there's usually a seven day period mm -hmm. for the buyer, seven to 10 days for the buyer to hire someone and they pay for it mm -hmm. and then come in and um, and inspect the home. So within that seven day period is usually when they will conduct the home inspection. Then the buyer has two choices after that. Um, they can basically send back a, an addendum, putting down any concerns that they may have about the home from the home inspection, and ask the seller for repairs, and there's a negotiation then that goes on. Mm -hmm. Or the second thing is the buyer can just void the contract mm -hmm. for no reason. They're, they don't need to delineate why they want to mm -hmm. do that. So they basically have a choice, but they must conduct the home inspection and they must provide a copy of the home inspection mm -hmm. to the seller. But after mm -hmm. that, they have those two choices. They can, and the addendum is where we spend a lot of time renegotiating Right, and that's, to bring up your point, it's the second negotiation. What types of things do you see that are common that need to be negotiated from there the There are a number of items that we see come up over and over again, and some of them the seller can kind of prepare in advance for, and others they can't. For example, the seller should get their chimney cleaned ahead mm -hmm. of time so that the home inspector can get a really good view of the condition of the chimney and not have it be a mystery as to what's going on behind the creosote. By the same token, if a roof is old, that's something that the sellers um, really can take a look at. Is the roof leaking? Go up in your own attic, look around. Is there mold? And if, if there are leaks, then that will become an issue for sure. If there's mold, it will become an issue for sure. Um, but, but get it checked ahead of time so you have a sense of what to expect. Make sure all of your appliances are working. Mm -hmm. Try and make sure that there isn't any leakage in the plumbing, that all of your electrical outlets are working, things like that. Um, I think the seller can save themselves a lot of grief and aggravation if they just kind of go through those basic things ahead of time. Another one is have your heating and air conditioning unit serviced mm -hmm. ahead of time mm -hmm. because that's yeah. something the buyers will generally ask to have done. And I would think the buyers will get a good impression too if they know that it's been serviced and they're excited and they right. continue to be excited about the house. They don't want well, to break the deal. Exactly. And I think condition. that's really important. I was thinking about this last night. That's very important. If the house is in immaculate condition, right. mm -hmm. even if it's old, mm -hmm. even if things are old, but if it's clean as a whistle, it's in beautiful condition, the seller has taken care. Mm -hmm. I think the buyer is very excited about the house and things tend to move on smoothly. Right. It's when the buyer runs into something and then they run into something else and then they run and they think, oh my gosh, what am I getting into? Right. And that's what 
tends to cause a problem a after the home right. inspection. Sellers tend to maintain their homes meticulously while the house is on the market mm -hmm. and then let things slide right. as soon as the contract's ratified. But That's they really need point. to try to hold it together through the inspection, the inspection so that they can create a positive impression on the buyers when they come for the inspection and also a positive impression for the home inspector. Right, and right. you all work with both sellers and buyers, yes. correct? Right. And mm -hmm. obviously you're an important um, consultant for them on both sides so you can help guide them through this process because there's a lot to it right. and you can tell them what's normal and you know right. and, and prepare them prepare those sellers right. and even the buyers and we meet with a lot of sellers before we put the house on the market and we walk through the house and we tell them things that are going to come up on the home inspection mm -hmm. we have a whole list of see. things that they can address another big thing is wood rod on the outside mm -hmm. or garage doors that don't open and shut properly or knobs missing off of cabinets right. or knobs missing off of appliances things that you can go online and order right. and have fixed or the ice and water um, things on this on the mm -hmm. refrigerator sometimes are broken so there's lots of things like that that really need to be repaired right Just that are going to come up anyway right. and um, we can go through the house with them very early on and try to prevent them from being in shock when they see the list is 32 items or whatever, <laughs> right. which, it, which it often can it, be. It can be. Well, that's great information mm -hmm. and um, people should get in touch with you whether they're selling or buying since that's you right. work with both sides that's there. Right. And let everyone know how to get in touch with you if you have a website and um, your contact information. That we have a team contact line which is 703-406-9009 and that connects directly to either Debbie or myself. Okay. And then we have a website at teamgreatfalls.com where they can get more information about us, about our events, our background, our expertise, and also any upcoming events we might be having as well as community information.